Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and today I want to discuss Isabella's true love. If Mariano wasn't Isabella's perfect match, then who could be? And of course, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more magical videos. Believe it or not, in early drafts of Encanto, there was a suitor that was initially considered for Isabella who she would have been in love with named Bubo Marquez. You see, early in the development of Encanto, the barrier around the Madrigal's home would have been broken, which would have given the outside world an opportunity to enter the magical sanctuary for the first time in 50 years. Well, in the final film, it's unclear how far away a boy Abuelo Alma and Abuelo Pedro's village was from the Encanto, originally the city they came from was going to be just over the mountains. Mirabel and Abuelo were even going to venture to Abuela's original home instead of the river at the climax of the story. There was concept art drawn up showing how that city would have been a thriving, massive, and more technologically advanced place compared to their hidden home. Like in the city, they were going to have cars. Now, one person who came from the city into the Encanto was Bubo, who was described by the art of Encanto as a true fish out of water with a dorky personality. He was far from the imposing, strong telenovela handsome that would eventually be embedded into Mariano. Instead, he had glasses, modern clothes, was very thin, and he was even considered to be so small that Isabella could hold him like he was a baby. But even though he didn't have pure machismo, according to a deleted scene from Encanto, Bubo gave Isabella something no one else had. Bubo is the only person who has ever really seen me. At this point in the story, Isabella would have been trying to flee from the Encanto with Bubo before the barrier was healed. She was aware that the weight of being perfect would never allow her to be happy. So she was trying to escape with the man she loved in hopes of being able to start a new life with him. But you're safe. Oh, I'm wearing this jaguar print coat. Wild animals see it and they're like, is that a giant jaguar? And I'm all, yes. And they're like, I will not mess with him. Honestly, they were kind of a cute couple, minus the really, really intense making out session. That is something I don't think we would have ever needed to see or hear. Now, of course, Bubo wasn't in Encanto though, which from what I can tell occurred in part because Isabella's journey was reimagined. Isabella was always going to be Abuela's favorite. She was seen as the perfect Madrigal, but for a while, she wasn't meant to be an antagonist to Mirabel. Camilo's teenage angst was going to drive a wedge between him and Mirabel, but that relationship was eventually transferred to Isabella as the sisterly dynamic was determined to be more impactful. To make that work though, Isabella's rebellious nature was removed. Instead of having a love interest who she knew her family would disapprove of in a plan to leave the Madrigals behind, which all showed that she was already breaking away from the family, she was instead given Mariano Guzman to be betrothed to. Isabella developed into a young woman who was so committed to her family and being perfect that she even was willing to marry a man chosen for her. She was prepared to give herself to someone she didn't love, also that Abuela's dream of having another generation in their casita could come true. And her desperate need to be perfect then got in the way of Mirabel's chaotic good intentions. While Bubo was the exact opposite of what Abuela wanted for Isabella, Mariano came from a great family, was unbelievably good looking, and Abuela was truly won over by his charm. He was exactly what the Madrigals wanted for Isabella. But what about the version of Isabella we know now? Would Bubo be our version of Isabella's true love? Well, I completely agree with Samantha Vilfort, a story artist on Encanto, who explained that Isabella's story is not rejecting femininity. She's not rejecting her gender expression, her makeup, or dress when she's breaking out of the cage her family put her in. She's just becoming more of all of that on her own terms. Isabella's journey thus far is not defined by a guy. She rejected the man her family betrothed her with so that she could explore who she wanted to become. And I don't want her growth to feel undone by pairing her with a partner. In my mind, the only way for her story to feel like it's moving forward and for her to be with someone is for her partner to further her independence. Yes, Bubo seems a bit different and odd, but if he was able to see Isabella as an evolving woman, if he could embrace that she's on a journey of self-discovery, and if he could connect with her in a kind way that she had never experienced before, like he was originally going to do, I could see him absolutely making an impact in Isabella's life. I think pairing the once perfect flower of the Madrigals with someone who would have never been thought of as perfect would would create a compelling connection as they both embrace who the other one is. And maybe that could lead them to fall in love. But 
taking it another step forward. In the limited runtime of a movie or a series, would it even feel very fulfilling to see Isabella fall in love if that came at the expense of seeing the other young Madrigals experiencing a relationship? I don't want to say that we shouldn't get to see Isabella fall in love just because she had so many characteristics of a traditional princess and we saw her already reject Mariano, but look at Camilo. He's an awkward teenager who is funny and witty. Seeing him trying and failing to impress girls I think would be extremely entertaining and hilarious to see play out. Or Mirabelle, her whole life she was never seen as good enough. It would be so amazing to know that she eventually found someone who always respected and adored her. But if I could only pick one magic gal to start a new relationship, you know since Dolores and Mariano are already going the distance, it would honestly be Luisa. She spent her whole life serving the town so wouldn't it make sense that in an effort to slow down her life she would finally consider going on a date? We've never really seen a physically dominant woman in a Disney project get the chance to fall in love, and there's no reason that the sweet, sensitive, and beautiful Louisa shouldn't get that chance. She should get the opportunity to pursue love. I mean, after all, she glows because she knows what her worth is. Well, in my ideal world, we would see how all of the Madrigal's lives play out. Who do you think should be the next Madrigal to fall in love? What would you want to see the next phase of the Madrigals be? Let me know down in the comments or over on our imaginative Discord server, which is linked down below. If you're new here, consider subscribing, and of course, have a magical day.